Matt from The Random Maker here, and I'm going to show you one thing about Tinkercad in two minutes or less. Let's start the clock. Okay, so one of the most important things you can possibly do for in Tinkercad is set up your drawing. Um, because a lot of the times what I found is the more time you spend on the setup, the more successful you're going to be down the road. So what you want to do is go over and click on the settings button. Really simple. And what we can see here is a couple things. Number one, um, do you want shadows? Do you want to show the grid? I like seeing the grid. It gives me a relativity to how big objects are because I know how big each grid length is. Okay, you can have your zoom speed. I don't think I've ever touched that one ever. And here's where many people might make changes because what I've got here is millimeters, inches, and bricks. Okay, so if you like working in inches, you've got inches. If you like millimeters, you've got millimeters. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the nice thing about Tinkercad is it does allow you to go back and forth and the drawings scale with it. So it's not a big deal. The next thing it has here is if you have a 3D printer, you can actually set a, basically every time you open it up, it has those measurements of your printer so that you always know everything you're designing will fit. And if your machine's not on there, we've got the custom button right there. The last, and for me, what I use probably the most is we have your settings of your uh, work plane, and that'll change if you bring a preset and yeah. So if you want to have a continuous, it's the same, hit make default. Now, here's one thing, if you hit close settings, it doesn't save. If you hit X on the other hand, it does. And that was one thing I found baffling for a long time. So make your changes, set your file up, hit the X and you're good to go. This is Matt from the Random Maker with a Tinkertad tip in under two minutes. Until next time, let's get making.